Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I want to start talking to you guys about FXML. Now the easiest way I can explain what FXML is, is it's essentially HTML for Java. In other words, you can use it to design the view, in other words the layout or the interface for the user and then you can stick all of your brains, all of the logic in a separate file called a controller and it breaks up everything, it organizes your project really easily and there's some other cool things that you can do with it as well. So if you're using IntelliJ then it's really easy to get started if you just select new project and you click Java FX then you can just say something like um, FXML uh, like example or whatever you want and finish and check it out so if I expand and show you guys what's going on I'm just done setting up alright so whenever we get our template FXML project we're given three documents to start the first one is main we already know what that does it's our starting point the second one is controller and the third one is this FXML and that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys in this video so already you can see that in FXML it kind of resembles the basic template of HTML with all these you know tags and the structure of it and another thing I want to point out whenever IntelliJ gives you this default project they give you a bunch of little statements that you don't really need or you don't really use right now that's what these gray little squiggles mean so what I did is on my github page if you go to the JavaFX section 31 FXML I made a really um, simple cleaner template and this is a little bit easier to follow so again just copy all of this data from the sample.fxml document and then we can just use this one instead it'll be a little bit easier to follow along with so before we just start jumping into this code I'll explain to you exactly how all of this fits together um, real clearly and actually let me clean this up a little bit so it's gonna be a little bit easier to understand alright so we know whenever the program first starts it calls main and we already learned in FXML main is gonna go ahead and call start now in the start function what it's gonna do is it's gonna kick off this resource right here which is your sample.fxml file so this is essentially the view in other words all the layout and design that the user sees and this sample.fxml file is tied to this controller right here controller.java so this is pretty much the brains behind your fxml file so let me run this and show you guys what's going on and if it kicks off anytime now alright so this is our interface we can see in fxml and I'll explain what all these little attributes and in, in all this means later but we have a label so this is the label it says I love bacon we have a button a submit button there you go and when we click it nothing happens this again is just the overall layout the structure the design so this right here what code would you write in here well whenever we click the button then you know print something out in the terminal whenever we um, uh, like submit a form uh, send it to the database so all the behind the scenes um, you know logic that's what we're gonna stick in there now another thing you may be wondering is alright this is uh, great and all but why wouldn't I just design my entire interface through code I mean up until this point we've been learning how to write JavaFX to essentially design a GUI a graphical user interface so why would I switch over to FX amount well one of the reasons is because obviously as I just demonstrated it breaks up your view and your logic so it organizes your entire project a little bit easier and also you guys are gonna love this and you know I just want to give you guys a little hint and I'll show you guys how to install scene builder in I don't know probably a 10 tutorials or so but JavaFX has this tool called scene builder and again I'm we're kinda getting our head of ourselves but I wanna show you um, you know I just wanna kinda get your mouth water in a little bit and it's pretty much an awesome application where you can pretty much drag and drop and design your layout incredibly easily now whenever you do this in scene builder what it's actually doing behind the scenes is it's editing your FXML file 
So before we just hop right into Scene Builder and start learning how to use that, it's a better idea if we understand exactly what's going on. So in case we get any bugs or we want to do anything manually, then we can learn how to do that.